Hello, welcome to another video. Let's do another integration problem. And this time, um, it's not a complicated thing because obviously this is a composite function and we really don't have the skill to integrate any composite functions unless you use u substitution. Actually, that's the first step you gotta use every time you have a composite function unless you wanna use um, the Taylor series method or find another way to solve it. Okay, so based on what we know, we're gonna use u substitution, but you see, I tried it. It just, it, it, it didn't work in the way I expected it to work because remember, for u substitution, when you take the derivative of what you call u, which obviously will be natural log of x, it's one over x, but one over x does not appear anywhere here. So it brings some kind, some sense of frustration, frustration when you're trying to do this. So you have to pay closer attention and you'll find the answer. Let's get into it. So like I said, let's do the U substitution. So we're gonna say, let U be equal to the natural log of x. du is going to be the derivative of this, which is going to be 1 over x dx. Okay, we're done. Now, remember when you do u substitution, you don't want to have dx anymore. What you want to have is du. But du is 1 over x dx. Yeah, we know there's dx here. We can replace it. But there's no 1 over x, which generates problems unless you pay close attention to what 1 over x is. Uh, wait, wait, let's do this. Let's isolate dx. This implies that dx can be replaced with, if you multiply both sides by x, you get, you're gonna get x du. So we're still trying to rewrite this expression. So this expression here, when it comes down here, is supposed to be something like this, the integral of the cosine of u multiplied by dx. Um, but we don't want to have x anymore because we want to do everything in terms of u. So the question, how can you write x in terms of u? Well, obviously it's not here, but can we do something with this expression? If u is the natural log of x, what is x? Well, remember, if you express this as e to the u, and e to the u, you're going to isolate your x. So we can say, since the natural log of x equals u, then we have e to the ln of x will be e to the u. And we know that e to the ln of x is what? It's just x. Nice. So instead of writing x, so we're going to go back here and replace the x here. But we're going to be replacing it with x du, but we just said x is e to the u. So now we're going back to replace this with e to the u du. And now we have a different integral to deal with. That's nice. So let's write this neatly. Okay, let's rewrite it. This is the same thing as the integral of e to the u cosine u. Do you? And I know if you've been doing integration by parts before, you know that this is easy, just use the di method. So let's do that. So we're gonna say that the integral we have here, e to the u, this is terrible, let's fix it. Okay, the integral e to the u du, oh, e to the u cosine u, cosine u du, will be equal to, I'm going to write that out, but I want to show you what it's going to look like. Let's do the di method here. So I'm going to differentiate and I'm going to integrate. I'm going to differentiate. Um, if I follow the Liate rule, remember L-I-A-T-E, these are T-E, trigonometric function and exponential function. So T comes before E, so I'm going to take the trig function and put it here. So this is cosine U. And I'm going to put the exponential function here, e to the u. I'm going to integrate this. So I have plus, minus, plus. Okay, this is the di method. Okay, if I differentiate cosine u, what do I get? I get minus sine u. If I integrate e to the u, I get e to the u. 
Okay, I keep doing it until this repeats or this goes to zero. Or I get a product that can be easily integrated. So those are the three conditions for using the table. So now if I, if I integrate this again, if I differentiate negative sine u, what would I get? I'm going to get negative cosine u, negative cosine u. Okay, so, and this is still e to the u. So what is my answer? I'm going to go back up here and write my answer. My answer is just this. You just go this way. And when you get to the last line, because I stopped because this repeated, I go this way. So now I'm going to say this is e to the u times cosine u with a plus sign. So this is e to the u cosine u. And then I go to the next one. Minus times minus is plus. Then sine u times e to the u will be plus e to the u sine u. Okay, and then the last one is going to carry the integration sign because we didn't get to zero and we're going horizontally. So this is going to be plus times minus is minus. Then you have the integral sign of e to the u times cosine u du. So every time you multiply horizontally, it must be integrated. Okay, and make sure you note what sign this is. So now that we have this, what do we have? Well, it looks like the question has repeated itself in the answer. So I can bring this over here. Let's hide this. Let's hide this somewhere here. Okay, so it looks like this is here, this is here. I can add this to both sides so that what I have, I'll have um, two of this, e to the u cosine u du is equal to e to the u cosine u plus sine u. Here, if I divide both sides by 2, I'm going to have the integral e to the u cosine u du is equal to 1 half of e to the u multiplied by the cosine of u plus sine u. Okay, now, should I stop here? Usually, we would add a constant. The question was not about u. <laughs> I like how that sounds. It was about x. So we have to go back and replace anything that looks like u and say, no, it's got to be in terms of x. So finally, we'll say, therefore, the integral cosine of ln of x dx is equal to 1 half of e to the u. What is e to the u? Let's go back. e to the u was x. Multiplied by, what is cosine u? Cosine u is the cosine of, what was u again? u was ln x. So it's going to be cosine of ln x plus sine ln x plus c. This is the indefinite integral solution to our problems. I'll see you in the next video. Please make sure you like this video before you leave. Never before you leave. <laughs> You're not dead. Because if you never stop learning, you never stop living. Bye-bye.